Hey guys, just want to do an update video. Um, for those of you that don't know this car, I did um, an interview with Cobra Owners on YouTube about a year and a half ago. I don't know if he's still doing videos or not. I know he still posts on Instagram a lot, but uh, I think it still had his most views. For some reason, because he did a lot nicer cars than this too. But anyways, this is my 96 Cobra. Um, I won't get in too much detail about the car, but it has a, it had a 1.5 Kenny Bell original one from 1996. And I mentioned in the video, I had a 2.1, I was swapping on it. Anyways, uh, I'm kind of mid project right now. I was gonna, I should have filmed from the start, but I didn't, I kind of just got motivated one day and came out here and started taking stuff apart. I've had this new supercharger for I don't know, probably two years now sitting on the shelf. Um, I bought it off somebody online that he had this custom intake manifold for it made, which is pretty sweet. Hopefully it works. He had it on a on a Marauder, so it's a little bit bigger, um, but it looks like it should fit. Um, but yeah, it's going to flow a lot more air, so hopefully it works. We'll see when I get there, but I'm kind of in the middle of some some things um i was just kind of update everyone on that i know i don't have a whole lot of following of this car on youtube mainly on instagram and just because of that video really but maybe i'll post some on instagram and link this video somehow but um i'll kind of show you guys what i got going on let me switch the camera what i got on. going on so basically i got you know the old supercharger off the lower intake Manifold, I guess you would call it, or supercharger plate. I got that off. To get that off, obviously, you got to take the injectors out. Um, I got those sent out. Actually, it's a local place. Um, I got those being cleaned and tested since this car's on E and it kind of sits a lot. So, might as well have those done. So, that's being done now. Um, the only thing kind of holding me up now is, um, well, let me, let me turn this thing on. So, I, I'm sure. It's kind of normal, but my, uh, I was looking kind of looking at these intake valves. They're kind of, kind of nasty. I'm sure most cars are dirtier than this, but I kind of want to get these cleaned up because I am going to, I am going to delete the EGR, which I can't believe this thing still had it on there, but which this new supercharger doesn't even, I can't even use it anyways if I ended up using this this intake, man, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is where the old one hooked up. This one won't even have it anyways because it's all custom. If this doesn't work, I do have the new one to go with it, but hopefully I don't have to. So anyways, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, delete the EGR. Um, I already, oh yeah, and it still had, if you saw on the floor, I still it still had the, IMRC plates on it, which is kind of crazy. I can't believe those never got taken off over the years by somebody, but those are for sale on eBay right now if anybody needs some. So I do have new IMRC delete plates, new gaskets. Um, this Here's the new, new lower plate. It's basically the same as the old one, but this one, um, it's been drilled and tapped for a second methanol injection nozzle. So I'll have two. I'll have one, um, I'll have one pre-blower, which is, I've had right here. And then I'm actually gonna, it'll, I'll tee it off here. Here I'll run another line up underneath, underneath the alternator and it'll go underneath there. So I'll have two, so one pre-blower to cool the blower and one post-blower to cool the charge even more. And then also um, this is threaded and tapped here for the air intake temp sensor, um, where if anybody knows about these cars, they are located here in the air intake tube, right there, which is okay for an NA car, but with these non-intercooled Kenny Bells, you could have 300 degree air intake temps and the car doesn't know it, so it's just gonna keep doing its thing and that's how 
I know actually that's how this car originally blew an engine a long time ago, way before me. So yeah, so that'll be in the plate post blower. Um, I was gonna have to, here's the, here's the factory plug. I was gonna have to cut and lengthen this, but I actually found um, AFE makes a one foot harness for like a 2015 and up EcoBoost for something or other. But anyways, it's the same exact plug and it's a foot long. I measured with a piece of wire and it'll actually be perfect. So this will go kind of low on light right here, but it'll, there's a little gap right here, that little hole and it'll come through and the sensor is going to sit about right here and that that harness should be that little harness extension should be perfect so i don't have to cut and splice anything on that so that'll work out pretty good so i'm gonna do that um i'm waiting on the the new methanol injection line so i can get that done um like i said i ordered the that walnut blaster kit so i can clean my intake valves just might as well i'm not in a hurry to drive this car or anything so with that, the EGR will be deleted. Um, I already have a weird catch can set up on this car, which I need to redo because I don't know, it's kind of kind of weird and homemade and not very nice. So I need to redo that. Um, another thing that's going to be kind of custom is I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it's a good angle. So if you see, look at the angle of how where the throttle body will sit compared to the blower on this old one, which is how the factory intake manifold would have been. Now this new custom one this guy made, look how much further out that sets. I don't know why uh, he designed it like that. Well, I'm sure for airflow, like I said, it was in a Marauder, so who knows, I'm sure space wasn't an issue, but it's definitely gonna be out there. Um, at first I was worried about it being too close to the strut tower. I mean, it is, so kind of why I left this in here. It's going to line up. I mean, this is kind of where the stock ones sit. Um, we'll see. I'm going to end up pulling this out. I just haven't got to it yet. But I don't know. I It's definitely, this is not going to work how it is. So I'm going to end up hacking this one up, which is fine because I already kind of hacked it up anyways with this for the catch can and stuff and um i did save actually save this elbow off the old one so even if i cut this down it might be something where this new one sits out farther and this elbow even if i have to trim this this might gets me by i don't know we'll see but hopefully i don't have to get some custom uh air intake fabbed up because that'll be kind of weird or maybe a 0304 Cobra one lines up because I know those throttle bodies sit a little further out. And then the throttle cable, who knows how that's going to work. Um, I'm keeping the same. It already had this big AccuFab on it, but you can see how close the linkage was to this mount. And this had this thing way back there. I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm just gonna get it on the car and start messing around with it. I don't know. Definitely no fabricator, but maybe we can get it to work. Um, oh yeah, and this also has, this guy also made this set up for a, a bypass valve where these obviously don't have that. So this'll, this thing will go here to here. It's basically like a like a blow off valve for a turbo car. So when you back off the gas, it can actually vent out that boost pressure. Or like all the, you know, like that car factory, those superchargers have one internally. Or but you know these ones, these old things don't. So um, that's basically about it. Um, that's. It's crazy how these uh, these superchargers look almost identical. It's funny, like this thing, you know, this thing's from 1996 and it still spins perfectly. You wanna see the, the underside of one. Yeah, 
Yeah, this thing's nice and clean. I mean, it only has 22,000 miles on it, but like I said, this thing was put on when the car was brand new. I still have the, the paperwork for it. And it's funny, every picture I've seen of one, I thought somebody safety wired this, but I think they did that from the factory. Because like I said, all the other ones, pictures I've looked at have had that too. And then it's kind of crazy because from the back side, from the back side on these on the new ones they actually looked a little more restricted i look at this smaller opening i mean i know this one has this divider right here but I mean, that's kind of crazy I don't know how many people have actually had a old 1.5 and a new 2.1 next to each other. Because not a lot of people run these. Because most people just go Vortec or Turbo on these cars anymore. But I have my reasons for wanting to stay this route. <laughs> so yeah. That's where we're at. Hopefully... This week I can get the uh, the intake valves clean and then get the um, the, the methanol line ran, the air intake uh, sensor harness ran, and then I can get the lower plate on, my injectors back in, and then it's going to be a challenge getting that... Um, the tube for that bypass valve. So that, so this points, this points out the back. So that is gonna point like right over the transmission, which it doesn't look like there's room, but there is like, there's room behind the head. So that tube is gonna have to go around the head and up probably over the brake booster and up kind of where the EGR is. And that's where it'll go into the into the intake elbow. Um, I think that's about it. So I'll post another video when I start getting stuff going back together. And, and then I still don't know what I'm doing for tuning this thing. Um, I can at least get it. I'll be able to start it up. Like this thing's already tuned for that blower. I mean, at idle, it's not going to be a whole lot different. Oh, and I do have a 10% um, a lower pulley to go on. I might even wait till, well, I'll probably get the car running and then I'll probably just do that last, swap the 10% lower on, and then at least get it running so I can at least drive it up on a trailer and trailer it to get it tuned. So, but yep, I'll, uh, I'll update everyone here uh, hopefully soon.